Good morning. Welcome to Whatever Wednesday. Today we are going to be doing some unboxing and maybe a little bit of eating. It is whatever Wednesday where I will be doing stoves, camping food, uh, you name it. Uh, it's just going to be whatever. So uh, anyway, I'm doing a couple unboxings. Uh, first, we got uh, Tracy Phillips. He sent me a package. I sent one to him as well. First off, we got this awesome fork knife combo that he made. Very cool. I'll be using this with my camping foods. Thank you so much, Tracy. Look at that bad boy. That has got some reach on it. So uh, he made that. So that's pretty cool. And uh, we got the uh, Chef 5-Minute Mills. This isn't just the little box one. This is like a full pound of food here. Pretty close to a pound. So uh, really looking forward to trying this. And I think this has the, uh, the Royal Cream Crackers in it, which I love. And uh, we've got a beef stew one. We got another one, which is a pasta fagoli. Not tried either of those names, actually. And then we got one more. It's from the 1776 Company MRE, Chili with Beans. So I'll definitely be doing reviews on all these. Thank you so much, Tracy. Very kind of you. Jack of Trades had a contest, and uh, for the the Aries, and I won. I was not expecting that. So thank you so much, Jack of Trades. Very awesome of you. Um, and I will have a package coming out to you in a couple days. I got something special from Base Camp Foods. I want to send along with the order for you so uh let's open this thing up right. and he said he threw, threw in a few extra things so we'll just have to kind of guess what it is so we got this awesome monitor bag Sent me a, a set of fossils, fossils, and then we got a condiment pack with just all kinds of stuff here. And, ooh, lots of sticker here. Here we go. Okay, so let's dig through this. See what we got here. We've got a Fiesta Bowl. Sounds interesting. We've got some chili mac. We got some ham cheese with hash browns potatoes. Sounds great. Ooh, that is nice. Biscuits and gravy. I'm American at heart and I love biscuits and gravy. It's one thing. You cannot find in Canada. You have to make it from scratch because they just do not sell it in the restaurants. Starting to see some biscuits, but not the gravy part. Uh, but even for the most part, when you when you tell people, "Hey, uh, you want a biscuit?" They're thinking like you know a cookie maybe. Okay, Icelandic meat stew. I might be uh, doing this one today, so I'm gonna set this to the side. You can see all the ingredients there. You got just all kinds of stuff. 
different kinds of meats and vegetables. So I'm looking forward to, to trying that out. All right. Okay. Here is the uh, chocolate covered espresso beans. I was really into these back in the 90s. You remember in the 90s when coffee really started to take off? That's when Starbucks started to uh, really started to make it big. Not, not as big as it is today, but it was a really super new trending thing, even though it had been in Seattle for, for longer. Okay. We got the uh, chocolate covered sunflower seeds. I've had those once before. Those are great. Okay, we got an Aries spice kit. Which I'm going to go ahead and open up and see what we have here. We got cayenne pepper. We got everything bagel seasoning. We've got, what do we got here? Granulated garlic. And lime, ooh, that sounds intriguing. Lime pepper. And All right, that's pretty cool. Okay. There's a couple drinks, a couple fruit punch. Okay, Jack uh, generously sent one of these GSI. I've actually been eyeing these over at uh, some of the outdoor stores. Have not got one, but I've been really tempted. So glad I didn't get one. Thank you, Jack. That was so cool. And we got a Walter water filtration uh, system here. And we got a spice kit number two. Let's see what's in that. Okay. Oh, ho, we got Old Bay. And uh, you know what? I don't think I have any Old Bay right now. And I got a... I eventually want to do a video that's uh, like a... Kind of like a crawfish boil or a seafood boil. Because we don't have crawfish here. Um... So I can use that. Sesame. I love that on uh, Asian food. Uh, Cajun seasoning. Wow, man. I got the set up here. And garlic salt. Okay, so there's two spice kits there. We got a uh, salted all-day snack mix. Mixed nuts. All-day uh, snack Peanuts salted, roasted. And we got a mess of breads here. Oh, that is awesome. We got the Star MRE tortillas. I think that's the better of the tortillas out there. And we got two of the uh, two packs of tortillas. I wish they would always have these in every MRE that has tortillas. Those are awesome. Okay, got a couple crackers for the cracker collection. Um, we got two Mediterranean citrus berry blends. Okay, so I'm going to move some of this up. So we're running out of room. This is becoming a giant pile here. Okay, so we got pilot bread cracker. Um, hopefully when my dad comes down, God willing, um, I can get some of these and then when I do trades, I'm going to try to spread the love with some of this pilot bread, but it's been, it's been a few years. Stuff lasts forever. Uh, had somebody, uh, got lost in the, the woods up in Alaska. They found a abandoned, uh, abandoned, uh, cabin and they were kind of stranded out there in the middle of nowhere. And there was a box of uh, pilot bread, and, and that's what made them stay alive. Uh, those things, uh, they don't have, like, eggs or anything that goes bad. So it's, it's like a hard tack. So good stuff. Uh, got a micro survival kit. 
you want to take a look there. Then we got the all day smoothie snack blend. Ooh, we got some chocolate mousse. Okay, we got the chocolate peanut butter cup cheesecake. We got the five minute chef banana chips. Love banana chips. We got chocolate muesli with milk. Ooh, and we got a pour over coffee with coffee. So that's pretty cool. Okay, we got a peach drink. We got pineapple guava drink. Sounds exotic. We got two peach drinks. Instant milk, this stuff can come in handy. And we've got the Minotaur uh, tactical uh, spork with knife. And I have one that just uh, exactly like this, but it just doesn't have the, uh, the Minotaur on it. So I'll definitely pass my other one off to somebody. And it comes with a thingamabob. All right, what else we got? Got the Arizona chili with beans. I've actually tried this one when I got this from uh, Brian Kranz and family. Ooh, Bob's breakfast bowl. This is one I might try today. I've actually been, this is one of the new remains they have. I've been wanting to try this. So I'm going to put this with the Icelandic stew. Okay, that's interesting. Peanut butter crunch flavored uh, coffee. So that's that's going to be uh, that's going to be an interesting one. Okay, so this is another one I think I'm going to try today. This is the root beer float. That just sounds awesome. It's uh, one thing I can't find here in Canada is the root beer float ice cream bars. I think I, I've seen them one year, but I, I have not seen them this year. So uh, I've, I've actually been craving the, uh, the root beer float ice cream bar. So this will have to be my substitute. This might be just as good or better. Okay, and here's another one I might try today. This is the steak and macaroni and cheese and sauce. And we got another smoothie snack blend. Hey, okay. we've got a commando bar. And okay, I think this is one of the extras. This is a white coffee hazelnut. So it's kind of like one of those three in one coffees, but uh, it's uh, got a hazelnut flavor, so and I, I like the hazelnut, so this should be pretty cool. And we got two. Nice. Okay, we got another uh, pour-over coffee, already loaded with coffee. We got a nougat and fruits. Oh, we got some hot chocolate. We've got some tissues. Another pilot bread. Loving that. Another hot chocolate. Okay, what do we got here? We got a an emergency blanket. Don't die in the woods. And I think this is one of those compressed uh, napkins. I've actually been looking for these. So maybe I'll, I will do a demo demonstration with this today. And he got me a GSI coffee rocket. So I will be doing a future video on that. Probably along with this. I think these both go together. So that's going to be pretty cool. Cool video for that. So I'll be doing that on a whatever Wednesday 
And next whatever Wednesday, if it shows up, I'm going to be doing a special monster of a stove from Europe. So stay tuned for that. Uh, if I don't do it next Wednesday, that just means it hasn't come in and maybe I'll do this or, or whatever. All right, so I picked out uh, some foods I want to try here. We got the steak and macaroni and cheese sauce. And this calls for eight to 10 ounces of water. And get you a close up of the ingredients. Looks pretty natural. Root beer float, it calls for 16 ounces of water, 16.9, and push pause for the uh, ingredients on that one. Bob's breakfast bowl, it calls for 10 ounces of water. And let's get the ingredients. You pause that, check that out. And I'm going to be doing the Icelandic meat stew, and it's got uh, diced beef, Italian sausage, beef meatball, shredded chicken, cabbage, white potatoes, carrots, red peppers, green pepper, celery, onion, paprika, cornstarch, salt, yeast, extract, rosemary, and garlic. This, also, this calls for eight ounces of water. And uh, I'm going to do this compressed napkin. And for a hot drink, I'm going to do the, the Nescafe hazelnut coffee. Looks like it's from Asia. So uh, I'm not going to, I'm going to spare you <laughs> watching me pour the water and all these. I'll just be back when they're done because the uh, video is running a little bit long here. Okay, we got everything hydrating. We got the drinks mixed up. Here is the hazelnut uh, kind of three-in-one coffee. It's delicious. And here is the root beer float. Mm. That is a treat. Mm. And I'm sure I'm going to be making messes along the way, so let's... Uh, Check out this uh, compressed napkin thing. Okay. I think it's got the max amount of water there. Let's uh, pull this thing apart. Oh yeah, that is a sturdy towel. That's a good brand. I've had the compression napkins, but this one is definitely a cut above. So we'll put this on the side, let all these uh, hydrate, and I'll be right back. Okay, everything should be hydrated. So let's uh, check it out. So here is the Icelandic meat stew. Give it one final shake here. Okay, that's looking pretty good. And the steak, macaroni and cheese and sauce. Give that one more shake there. Okay, I think I should have used less water on that one, but uh, should be all good. And the Bob's breakfast bowl. Give that one last shake.
So I think what I'll do next time is put a little bit less water in these and then just add it if I need it. All right, let's get to tasting. Okay, a little too much water, but it still tastes good. Meat is nice. And the Icelandic stew. Okay. Yeah, I think I added a little too much water to most of these, but. There's a good amount of uh, spice in there. So I think I'm going to add it. It's salty enough, but uh, needs a little pepper. I'm going to go share this uh, bounty with my wife, and I'll be back in a flash. Okay, uh, didn't get my wife to share it yet. She's not quite up yet, but uh, sh I got a couple things left for her. Uh, mac and cheese came out a bit soupy, but it was really generous in the meat. I like soup, so instead of the eight, I will start with like six ounces next time. Eggs came out a little bit runny, but it is delicious. You don't need to add any salt to it. That is a perfect amount of salt, but I did add some pepper. And here is the Icelandic meat stew. And I could have, I don't know if this would thicken up or not. So I probably, probably just right. Cause it doesn't look like there's any thickener in there. But the eggs and mac and cheese probably want to add about two ounces less. less would be my best guess. These drinks are awesome. This is the hazelnut coffee. And the root beer float. Mm. Mm -mm. That is delicious. So thank you, Tracy, for those MREs and this awesome fork spoon combo and uh, really appreciate it I hope you like what I sent to you and uh, Jack of Trades I got a package going out to you in just a couple days I'm just waiting for a couple special things I want to send to you that I got coming in the mail here anytime now so uh, I'll try to get that out to you quickly thank you guys so much uh, next uh, Sunday will be Ration Assassin Sunday. <coughs> and uh, I have not decided what I'm going to do on that, but I will have a ration. And then next Wednesday, hopefully we'll have that, uh, that beast of a stove. Uh, really looking forward to doing a uh, demo on that. And I got some accessories for that beast. And plus uh, a modification as well that I've already got planned. So uh, I will see you guys next Sunday. Don't miss the Ration Assassin Sunday and whatever Wednesday. We'll be doing this every week unless something comes up. But for the most part, uh, I should be there Sunday and Wednesday. So uh, you guys have a great rest of the week. Happy Hump Day. I will see you guys Sunday. Bye.